Que triangulito no me está gustando. Vas a comprender. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with breaking news. Family and friends are coming together, united in their grief as they remember the life of Irene Livano. The mother of six was found dead earlier today after disappearing this past weekend. It's been a long week for loved ones, some who spent days combing the desert, holding out hope, but tonight they are grieving. Irene was last seen at a bar with her boyfriend on Saturday near 27th Avenue in Camelback. Three days later, her car was found in the West Valley near 107th Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. And today, the search ending with a discovery of her body near Quartzsite off of I-10. Police say her boyfriend killed her. Here's Team 12's Adriana Loya with more from Irene's family and the latest on the case. A new angel got her wings. She was very nice. She loved her kids so much. 37-year-old Irene Lovano found dead. Irene's mother caressing a picture of her daughter during a vigil held hours after getting the tragic news. I don't wish it on no mother to lose their kids because it hurts. It's really painful. It had been five exhausting days. We tried our best. We were out there and we tried our best. Family, friends, and strangers searching the desert for the single mother of six since Sunday. After she called family saying her boyfriend had stabbed her in the neck. Police finding her body 100 miles west of the valley Thursday. Police say there was trauma to her body. At least we have relief that they found her already. <laughs> but we're hurting so much. Police detained Jorge Quintero Lara, Irene's boyfriend, on Sunday for unrelated forgery charges. He told detectives he worked for the Sinaloa cartel. Now he is the primary suspect in Irene's death. I just want to tell him that why, why did he do this to my sister? Why, why did he do this to her? Because he left the family suffering. He left my nephews, my nieces, my, all of us. I just want him to pay for what he did. As many questions remain unanswered, the family finding solace that at least now they know where she is. I know that. That she's okay. That she's okay. She's resting. And she's not cold. She's not hungry no more. Because the Lord is going to feed her up there. Now the family is planning to head to the site where the body was found tomorrow. They have also set up a GoFundMe account to help with funeral expenses. At this time, it is unclear how police found her body. In Phoenix, Adriana Loya, 12 News.